Somebody lift your hands to him wherever you are. Lift your two hands if you're sitting down, you stand up and lift your hands. Jesus reigns. Jesus, reign in our lives. If you need him, begin to just worship him. Lift your voice and tell him, reign in my life, Jesus. Reign in my life, Jesus. Come on, everybody, open your mouth. And just say these simple words, reign in my life. Reign, reign, reign in my life. Jesus come and rain Jesus come and rain Here baba baba ya raba kuria masala la la ya na na baba baba Everybody just open your mouth and worship him Don't be tired lift your hands lift your hands wherever you are Jesus 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 reign reign in this place reign with your power reign with your authority Masola Magata Magadi Magada Yala Labo Salaba Matalaba Baba Baba Yala Yana Nana Bo Salaba Oh Jesus, we worship you. Everybody, I want you to lift your hands. Forget about who is on your right. Forget about who is on your left. And just focus on Jesus. You came because you need Jesus in this place. Lift your hands, close your eyes. And begin to tell him, I need you, Jesus. Come on, everybody, open your mouth. He has given you a mouth. Use it. Use it. Tell him, I need you in my life. Reign in my life. I need you. I need you. I need you. Reign in my life. Reign in my life. Jesus, come and reign over everyone. Let fire be released upon these souls. Let glory reign in this place. Reign, Jesus. Reign, Jesus. We need you. We need your touch. We need your touch. Lift your hands now. My God, Holy Spirit, actualize this joy in our hearts. We bless you. You may be seated where you are right now. You may be seated. Look at your neighbor that you have, you have seated next to and tell them we are continuing in, in praising Jesus in a few minutes. How many people you are saying we continue in a few minutes? Please listen to me. I don't want any, any movements. I don't want any movements. You stay put where you are. I don't want movements. I don't want movements. I want the house to be in order. I don't want any movement. Because something 
is going to happen in this place. Thank you so much. I will need you in a few minutes. Let's appreciate this team. I want to appreciate the schools and the colleges patron, Pastor Kimeo, and all the, all the team that has been tirelessly uh, showing their time, their strength, their resources to make this event a success. May the Lord richly bless you. I want us to read Luke chapter number 10. I'm going to be very brief because this may not be a preaching session. I know you have received preaching from morning, but I don't want to, to repeat preaching. I want to do something else. Look at your neighbor and tell them something else. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. I want to read from verse 17 verse 17 do you have somewhere to write if you have got a notebook wave to me wave to me thank you thank you are you about to see it on the screen eh huh? that means we can read it together so let's read it loudly one two three Saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Verse 18. And they say to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Verse 19. Amen. I say amen. amen. Verse 20, the last verse. First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. Thank you, Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 10. Let's read it together. One, two, three. No temptation has overtaken you. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. Verse 14. Verse 14. Let's read. Somebody say amen to the reading of the word of God. I have entitled my message this evening The Power to confront the rebel prince. Power to confront the rebel prince. Power. Somebody say power to confront the rebel prince. Amen. I have seen some people looking at me with the red eyes because we have got somebody with the name of a prince in this, in this, in this camp. I'm not talking about our brother. I'm not talking about prince, the one in front here. I'm talking about a principality. <laughs> somebody shout hallelujah. 
Or am I allowed to come down? I want to give a definition of two things, what a prince is and what a rebel is, before I preach. A prince is a demonic force that is released from the kingdom of darkness to have authority in a particular territory. A prince is a demonic force that is released from the kingdom of darkness to rule or to have an authority in a particular territory. To rebel is to go against the truth. To rebel is to do against what you know. When we say that somebody is walking in rebellion, we mean that this person is going against what they already know and understand very well. I want to bring an awareness to everyone under the sound of my voice that when you are under the influence of this demonic force, number one, you cannot excel in anything. Because it takes a total control over your life. Ah, uh, okay. I've never seen a Bible for young people. But I know there are few verses that are talking about young people. So, I am preaching a general message that is going to touch the lives of everyone under the sound of my voice. Because there is no preaching for young people. There is no demon, there, there is no young demons for young people. And demon is a demon. There is no Holy Spirit for young people. Holy Spirit is Holy Spirit. There is no Holy Spirit in Grand A, Grand B, Grand C, and all that. In the kingdom of God, when we talk about the Holy Spirit, we talk about the Holy Spirit to grown-ups and even to young people. So that this message will suit everyone. It will come to you as a young person and the message will help you even when you grow up. Let me explain something. When this spirit comes upon young people, when they are in colleges, when they are in high school, even when they are in primary school, they grow up still under the influence of the same spirit. But I have come today, this evening, to announce that there is power of this rebel spirit. When this spirit catches up with your life, you don't want anybody to tell you anything. You become notorious because this spirit has got a promise. A counterfeit promise giving you your own way of doing things. Your own way of thinking. Your own way of interaction. Your own way of confronting issues. And when you think that now it is good to be indifferent. There is the moment when you begin to lose your grip in the truth and in the things that can help you in your new future, near future. Somebody shout amen to that. Are these the people who are just jumping and celebrating here? If you are the one, you need to say Amen. Unless you are substituted somebody else as such where you are, you are sitting, 
before you began shouting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Take me to the take me to the to our our first where we began in Luke chapter 10. The Bible says, and the 70 returned again with joy. You're going to return with joy to where you came from. I'm saying you are going to return with joy to where you came from in the name of Jesus. We are in verse 17. They returned with joy. They returned with joy. And they say that even, he said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. How many people you want demons to be subject to you? You want demons to be under your authority. This is the place where you are going to carry the authority. You know, amen means let it be so. When you are saying amen, you are saying, let it be so to me, Lord. So don't keep quiet. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Use your mouth to open your destiny. Hallelujah. When God gives you power, there is no demon that can, that can rule over your life. I don't know where you are coming from. I don't need to know the name of your school. I don't need to know the name of your college. I don't need to know where you are born. I need to know that you have got a passion to see God move in your life. We are raising a generation that, are, that puts all effort in academics, but they put a little effort in the things of God. We are the generation that is going to change that notion. That God is more important than education. I know nobody is telling you this, but I will tell you because I have the opportunity. Because it doesn't matter the grade that you live with in any school. After you are grade, you still need God. Am I talking to young people here? When you finish the school, it doesn't matter how high you score. You need God to make a way for your life. In this life, you must make a decision. Whether you are going to walk with God or the devil, you cannot stand in the middle and say, Today I am with God and tomorrow I am with Satan. That cannot happen. You must make your mind. Look at somebody and tell them, It is your time to make a decision now. Hallelujah. And verse 18. Verse 18. He said to them what? Come on, read it, with, read it with me. He said what? I saw who? Somebody says Satan. This in Jesus, he says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Where did he fall? From heaven here where we are living. Where we have our studies. Satan fell from heaven. And is here on earth where we are living. Look at somebody and tell them Satan is not too far from you. Hallelujah. You know, when you are young, there is a lot of competition. Because your strength is very important in the kingdom of God and in the kingdom of Satan. Because Satan knows that when he gets you, he has got your friends. 
That is why Satan is so much in schools and in colleges. That is why we have got so many young people joining their courting group, their wicked circle. Not because they want, but the devil who fell from heaven is in operation. Somebody point somewhere and they say, Satan, you have no power over my life. If your neighbor is not saying anything, you need to move. Don't stay with somebody who is not saying anything. Is your neighbor talking? I say, is your neighbor talking? How many people your neighbor is talking to you? Make sure that your neighbor talks back to you. If they don't talk to you, you'll raise your hand. Look at them again and tell them, neighbor, from this place, Satan, we have no place in your life. In Jesus' name. Verse 19, verse 19, he says, now, wait, verse 19 is the answer to verse 18. Satan fell from heaven to here on earth and God gave a remedy to that. God gave a cure to that. He says, behold, I give you power. Somebody shout power. Jesus saw Satan fall. And when Satan fall, he released power over the disciples. So that they will defeat the Satan who fell from heaven. I came to announce to people here. Oh my God. There is power. I say there is power. There is power against every according group. There is power against every wicked circle. There is power against Illuminati. Oh my God. In that matter who has found that you will never become anything. I am here under the anointing of God to declare in the name of Jesus, you will become somebody in the society. Any wicked price that has been paid and get us the destiny of everyone under the sound of my voice. I declare in the name of Jesus that that wicked sacrifice is nullified right now. I wish I would get to people with faith in this place. I came to fight. I say I came to fight. I say I came to fight. I say I came to fight. We cannot have young people who are under the influence of drugs. Young people drinking. We have come to say no. I say we have come to say no. Young people under the influence of immorality. That is spirit must lead the schools. I say that is spirit must lead the schools. If you are not saying amen, I say amen for you. Because it will happen for you. I am not requesting you. The fact that the devil could not stop you from coming. You will be changed. Show glory. He says, I give you authority. You know, authority is the right to rule. You are not all I'm saying. 
Authority is the right, is the right to rule. He's telling them, I am giving you a right to rule over Satan or fail. May you receive authority over every occultic power, over every wicked group that is out and against the life of young people. Let authority be deposited in your systems. Who said young people cannot change? I am asking a question. Who said young people cannot change? I am here to announce you will change in Jesus' name. I am saying you will change. God is giving you authority, the right to rule. He says to tremble on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Power is the ability to rule. Authority is the right to rule and the power is the ability. Malala Bahas. I feel Jesus here. Maybe some people even don't know why they are here, but God knows why you are here. You don't need to know everything. Jesus knows why you are here. God is giving you the right to rule and the ability to rule. Let me talk about three things before I close. Because he says, when he gives you the power, nothing shall be able to add. Look at your name and tell them after this camp, nothing. Tell them nothing. I'm not hearing you. Tell them nothing. We'll be able to add to you. How many people you have had young people killing themselves? Young people killing one another, you have heard of such a things? Do you know why? Because Satan fell and they did not receive the authority and the power. That is why the enemy is defeating them. You are going back with the power. What was defeating you, it will have no power to defeat you again. I want to give you three secrets to become a victorious person. Three secrets. How many secrets? Three secrets. Three secrets. Hallelujah. The first one is in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. The first secret. The first secret. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. The first secret for you to become a victorious person is that you must be born again. Thank you for that. Verse 17, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. So which is the first secret? Say, I must be born again. Amen. That is your first secret. Your first key to rule. Your first key to have dominion and authority. Let us read it together. One, two, three. Therefore, 
If anyone is in Christ, stop there, stop there, stop there. If anyone is where? Is, if anyone is where? If anyone is in Christ. To be in Christ means that you are born again. Listen to me. Being born again is not an option. Being born again is not something for your parents to decide. It is a personal decision. Thank you for keeping quiet. I'm saying it is a personal decision that you have to make. You don't wait for your parents to make the decision for you. It is not the decision of your teachers. No, the teachers are here. Let me say it. I'm saying it's not a decision for your teachers. You must be born again. And when you are born again, there is no drinking. Thank you for keeping quiet. Before you leave here, we are going to command every wicked appetite in your life to dry up. Appetite for beer, appetite for drunks, appetite for sexual conduct, for sexual behavior, immoral behaviors. That appetite for now, it must live by fire. Where is the time when we used to have girls in high school, in colleges, in primary schools who are virgin? I know nobody is telling you this, but I came to tell you that it is abnormal to lose your virginity. It is abnormal, abnormal. Abnormal. Somebody hear me. I say it is abnormal to lose your virginity at your age. It is abnormal. Even if you look down, even if you hide in the chairs, I will still shout it. It is abnormal let them demons hear it college students do you listen are you listening to me it is abnormal to lose your virginity while you are still in school abnormal i say it is abnormal a million times I'm waiting for you to finish your discussions. <laughs> Are you through? There is no debate. I'm saying there is no debate. And if you lost it, you must stay the way you are from this minute until hallelujah yeah. 
When your body is on fire with a lot of lust, unaichuna chuna na mkono. Ama unachukua fimbo unanjichapa. You cannot be a resourceful person in this society if you lose your moral standards. I will repeat myself again. You cannot become a resourceful person in this society, in this generation, in the kingdom of God. If you lose your moral standards. We must call sin, sin. Hallelujah. So, if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things have passed away. Behold, the new has come. May the Lord touch everyone under the sound of my voice. Number two. Number two. Second. Corinthians chapter six. Just, just. A few pages. Second Corinthians chapter 6. I think verse 14. That verse 13, 14, somewhere there. Uh, 14. Am I in the right place? Yes. Let's read it together. One, two, three. Do not be unequally yoked together. With the unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with the lawlessness? And the word communion as light within darkness. So number two, number two, the second secret, you must separate yourself. You must. Separate yourself. Verse 16. Verse 16. Verse 16. Oh my God. Chapter 6, verse 16. Ooh. Let's go to verse 17. Because of time, verse 17. Let's read together one, two, three. Therefore, do what? And be what? Hey. And I will do what? How many people you want Jesus to receive you? not to receive defiled people. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Bali company corrupts good morals. Bali company. You must separate yourself from young people, boys and girls who don't understand where they are going. Don't make everybody your friend. Associate with everybody. But not everybody is your friend. There are friends that you have. And after school they want you to, have, to go and pass somewhere and then drink a little. They have got some friends who smoke. And when the, the school closes, 
They come with the know how how to smoke, how to do wicked things. You must separate yourself. If you have got a friend, some of your friends I know, they are not in, in, in the school where you are with them. You only meet after, after closing the school. But I came to tell you, you must separate yourself from God to receive you. I say you must separate yourself. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. God does not work with the community. God works with individuals. In school, you need teamwork. You need group discussions. But in the things of God, you don't need group discussion. Thank you for quietness. I'm saying in classrooms, you need group discussions. You need teamwork. But when it comes to the things of God, you don't need a group discussion. You need to sit down and think about your relationship with Jesus. Work out your salvation with great fear and trembling. Number three, because of time. Number three. Psalms 119, verse 9. Psalms 119, verse 9. Psalms 100. Psalms 19. Psalms, yes. Let's read together. One, two, three. How can a young man cleanse his way? Uh -huh. By taking heed. The third secret, you mustn't be warded. Or you must become a word addict. You must love the word of God. Hallelujah. You are saying, oh, we are in school, when will we read the Bible? I know, I know the Bible, if, if the rules did not change, the Bible was, was a requirement. I don't know whether that is the case. In my time, it was a requirement that when you are coming, you come with the Bible. Am I saying the truth? So if it is a requirement, it means there is time set apart to read the Bible. When I was in school, there is something we used to call chombo. How many people, you, you have same terminology, you know what that is? That was a time that we set aside to wake up early while others are sleeping at two in the night to read our notes. In our school, we used to call it chombo. Chombo, chombo. You are studying while others are sleeping. That was the meaning. I don't know the meaning of that word, but according to us, that was the meaning. So don't begin to look at the kamusi. What does that word mean? To us, it meant that you must wake up. You switch on the lights. You go to a separate place. You read. Sometimes you dip your feet in cold water so that you will not sleep to read books. And if you have got such a time, before you open the books, you are not. You need to go there carrying a Bible and you read a few lines of the Bible. Hallelujah. So you must have the word, it says, how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the word. You cannot take heed to something that you are not aware of. Something that you don't know. You need to read the Bible to know it. 
Verse 11. Verse 11 of the same. Let's read together. One, two, three. Your word. It says, your word I have hidden in my heart. So that I might not sin against you. The word of God has got the power to dry up sin. You cannot carry the word and carry sin at the same time. Show me a person who has the word. I will show you a person who has cleansed his ways. Hallelujah. If you don't have the word, you can't pray. Prayerlessness is a sign of lack of the word. If you don't have the word, you are dry in your prayers. Because the word gives you words to pray. May the Lord release grace to study the word of God. I say may the Lord release the grace to study the word of God. Because in the school is where we will, God is going to raise righteous lawyers. It's where God is going to raise righteous teachers. It's where God is going to raise pastors. It's where God is going to raise evangelists. It's where God is going to raise business people who will not take bribe. When you lack the foundation of holiness, the foundation of the things of God, when you grow up, you begin to do things in a messy way. But we are correcting every mess. I say we are correcting every mess. From where we are onwards, we will have a better life. I say we will have a better life. I say we will have a sober generation. Somebody shout yes! Number four, the final one. Number four. John chapter 16 and the verse 13. John 16 verse 13. John 16 verse 13. Let's read together. One, two, three. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. Listen to me. One of the greatest lies of the rebel prince, it lies to people that they know all things. That they know all things. Which is not true. We have got one who knows all things. It's called God. Is all knowing. God is all knowing. And he has his spirit known as the spirit of the truth. That when you get it, you will begin to success in your studies. Hallelujah. How many people you need the spirit of God in your life tonight? Put for me in Job 32. Job 32 verse 8. Job 32 verse 8. Ayub, Job 32 verse 8. Job that's two verse eight. I'm closing. Let's read together. One, two, three. But there is what? A spirit in man. And the breath of all might gives what? The breath of all might 
gives understanding. God can give you something. Power is spirit upon your life. So that you will have an common understanding. After this day, you cannot, your performance cannot be poor. I say your performance cannot be poor. Even they that were performing the poorest with their performance will change. I command every spirit that has been released in schools to release the spirit of foolishness upon students, upon pupils. In the name of Jesus, I confront that spirit. I arrest that spirit. Go in the name of Jesus. Jump out of your seat and shout glory. There is power in this place. My goodness. Do you believe it? How many people you believe that there is power in this place? Those people who are walking out, they don't have faith in what they, I am saying. That is what I believe. But if you have got faith in what I am saying, you are not supposed to be going anywhere. We all need to go. How many people you need to go? We all need to go. Even me, I, I need to go. Amen? Wait, I, I, want us, I want us to have an increment here. Are you listening to me? I want us to have an increment. Because we are living here shortly. We are going to stay put. Look at your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, whatever can make you go out, now, can you wait? So anything that could have meant you to go out, I command you to wait. It doesn't matter what it is. You are going to wait until we finish. Amen. I see some people on the doors. That means on the exit. That means you are there to keep order in this place. From this minute, I don't want to see anybody moving out from those exits. Those who are far, are you? If you are hearing me, you wave your hand. Those who are in the exit, if you can hear me, you wave your hand. Yes. They are not seeing your end up. So nobody is going out through those exits. Are we in agreement now? I say, are we in agreement now? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. Can I tell you something? You cannot exercise authority if you are not under authority. You need to learn to honor authority so that God will give you an opportunity to exercise authority. How many people you want to exercise authority? So you need to honor what? Say with me, you need to honor what? Authority. If you are sitting down, you stand up. You stand up. Hallelujah. So I said that the key to victorious life is four things. You must be filled with the Holy Ghost. That is the last one that we are finished with. The other one that you need to love the Word of God. Hallelujah. And number three, you need to do what? You need to be separate. You must pay the price. To separate yourself from people who don't add value to your life. And the fourth one, that it is a must for you to be born again. Not a debate. It is a must. And I want us to begin there. Amen.
Because we are going to tackle the four of them in this place. Bow your heads, everybody. I want to pray for you. Everybody close your eyes. Bow your head. Father, we thank you so much because of who you are. Thank you because of this divine opportunity. Lord, you are not a son of man to lie. You are not a son of man to repent. Your word says that your purposes cannot be thwarted. It, is, it was in your calendar that this day we will gather in this place. And I pray that whatever you ordained to come upon your people before the foundation of the earth, that it won't be released in the name of Jesus. They without the Holy Ghost, that they shall be filled with your spirit. Oh my God. They that are not born again, that they will receive Jesus as their personal Savior. They that are under wicked connections, that they will be set free by your power. In the name of Jesus, as we close your, our eyes, you can hear me, you are under the sound of my voice, and you know very well that you are not born again. Because you have said the first secret to a victorious life is that you must be born again. So if you are here, you are not born again. I want to pray with you from wherever you are. So I want you to lift your hand, one hand above your head. You are not born again. And I will pray with you. You are not born again. You are very sure. Don't look at your neighbor. We are all closing our eyes. So even your neighbor is not looking at you. It is Jesus who is looking at you. You lift your one hand up above your head. In the name of Jesus. Don't fear anybody. It is not a man who is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see many hands up. If your hand is up, don't put it down. In the name of Jesus. I repeat again, you are not born again. You know very well that if you die today, you don't have a connection with Jesus who gave up his life for you. You need him now. You lift your hand. You join them that are lifting their hands in the name of Jesus. If your hand is up, I want you to take a step of faith. You leave your seat where you are and you come, you stand here in front with me where I am in this red carpet in the name of Jesus. You just walk you just make your way make your way make your way bypass everybody who is there don't look at them don't even think about what they will say about you you just make your way and come you just make your way and come yes i am talking to you you just make your way and come this is the time i saw somebody on my right lifting lifting up their hand you need to come you need to come you need to come jesus is calling you jesus is calling you at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the environs of my life roll away. Don't debate with anybody. You just need to come. You just need to come. Don't wait for anybody to tell you anything. Wait a minute. Please don't be a joker. The hand that you are lifting, you are not lifting to a man. You are lifting to God. I want you to come. If your hand was up, I want you to make your way here. And if your hand was not up and you are not born again, you don't need even right now to lift your hand. You need to run out of your seat and come here. Jesus is giving you an opportunity to begin a new life in your life. I am beginning counting right now from one to seven. If you know very well in your heart, because as I speak right now, you have a witness in your spirit that I am talking to you. You need to run and join the rest right here in the name of Jesus. When I reach number seven, don't come. Don't come. When I reach number seven, don't come. Jesus is calling you. He needs to save you. It doesn't matter the position that you have in school. It doesn't matter the position that you have in class. It doesn't matter the position that you have in college. Jesus, 
Jesus is your savior. He needs to save you. He needs to give you a new life. I begin counting right now. One. If you are coming, you come running right now. In the name of Jesus. Two. Oh, Jesus. Rabba Kashata. Number three. Four. Come on, if you're coming, you need to run. 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 In the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of fear. I silence every voice from hell. Telling you that salvation is not important. I silence that voice right now in the name of Jesus. Number five, I am waiting for you. Number five, if you are coming, run quickly. Run quickly, run quickly, yes. I see some people making up their mind. You run quickly in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you come, you lift your hands and you close your eyes. You expect God to touch your life. In the name of Jesus. Number six. If you are coming, run, 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 run. I don't have time. Yes, I see people coming. I see people coming. You need to run. You need to run. You need to run. You need to run. I am giving you the final chance. I am giving you the final chance if you are in the valley of decision. Don't stay there in the valley of decision. In the valley of decision, sinners stay there. Sinners stay there. Don't stay in the place of the valley of decision. Make up your mind now to live for Jesus. To live for Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The last count for they that are still saying that I was waiting for number seven, this is for you. Number seven, if you are to come, you run. You run. You run. I know there are people who, need, who need to be here. You run. Oh, Mashila Baka. Check with your neighbor. Ask them. Are you ready to go to heaven? Ask them. And wait for an answer. Wait for an answer. What are they saying? If your neighbor say no, you need to grab their hands and you bring them here. They need Jesus. They need Jesus. They need Jesus. Is there anybody standing with somebody? Who is fearing to come in front anybody you have got anybody you 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 help them lift your hands you have come just lift your hands and everybody there you lift your hands i want you to say these words after me this is a confession the bible says that when you confess with your mouth and jesus is lord you believe in your heart that he died for you and they rose up again that you receive salvation we want to help you just to do that so you, i want you to repeat these words after me loudly these words after me loudly say lord jesus, lord jesus. Today, today i admit that i'm a sinner and i surrender to you Save me now. In the name of Jesus. Delete my name. From the book of death. And write my name. In the book of life. I confess with my mouth. Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart 
Jesus died for me. From today, the whole things have passed away. I am now a new creature in the kingdom of God. Help me to live for you, to serve you, and to obey you. Thank you, Jesus. I am now born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, clap your hands and shout to Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to speak a blessing over your life. Lift your hands. I want to speak a blessing over your life. Father, thank you so much. Your word says that no man can come to you unless you draw them to you. I thank you because of the saving grace. Lord, I pray that none will go back to the dead works. Fill them with your spirit that they will change their places of schooling. They will, some of them even will change the life of their parents because of their character. Every spirit that was following their lives from today it is defeated. Every ancestral altar stalking their life is now defeated. We give you praise. I bless their lives. In Jesus name we pray. I know in class in classes you have got class monitors. You have got school prefects. But in the kingdom of God we don't have monitors. You become your own monitor. By ensuring that every minute you live with Jesus. By ensuring that everything you say in Jesus is inside. And he is going to bless you. After giving their life to Christ, what was, what was the next step for them? So you sit, you, you, have, you have got a special seat now. So you are sitting, your sitting position has changed. I'm going to sit on my left wing here. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Now I've discovered that that watch is not working, so uh, I don't know. I don't know how many minutes I have. That watch is, is not working. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Don't sit down. I only gave you a new place where you will stand like the rest. So when we say you sit down, you will sit down now like the rest. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. Uh, because our time is, is gone, I want to borrow some minutes from you. Are you going to give me some minutes? That is not me. <laughs> that, that must be somebody else. Amen. Whew. Now when I'm told that the time is over, I have to begin to, to reorganize myself again. I thought I had, I had much time. Hallelujah. Even Satan is up afraid because something powerful, greater than him, needs to happen in this place. Amen. So I want you to bow your heads. I want to make one altar call and then I will pray a general prayer. Amen. Then I will let you go. Everybody, please bow your head. 
going to I want to make one altar call. One altar call in the name of Jesus. You are here, you are under my voice, you are able to hear me. And you have any addiction in your life. You have any addiction in your life. I want you to show me where you are. We are closing our eyes. Please make sure that you are closing your eyes. I said you cannot exercise authority if you are not, if you are not under authority. If you are under any addiction, under any addiction, I want you to lift your hand wherever you are. Just lift your hand wherever you are. I will pray with you. You are under any addiction. Any addiction. Don't fear anybody. You just lift your hand straight. Straight. You are under any addiction. I know what I am asking. You are under any addiction. You are under any addiction. Thank you. I'm seeing your hand. Don't pull it down. Don't pull it down. You are under any addiction. If your end is down, and you know very well that I am talking about you, you lift your end. You lift your end. You are under any addiction. Any addiction. This is a time for your deliverance. If your end is up, we are all closing our eyes. I want you to lift your seat and come where I am, please. Please, don't fear anybody. Don't fear anybody. Don't say what will people say about me. You need to come. You need to come. You need to come. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. The Lord wants to break that addiction. The Lord wants to break that addiction. In the name of Jesus, you are under any addiction. You are under any addiction. Under any addiction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I include you are under any addiction and you are in any, any circle. Any circle. Any circle. You are in any circle. Because that is also an addiction. You are, you are under any influence of any circle. Any wicked circle. The Lord wants to set you free. Am I clear in what I am saying? I think. Prince, are these people hearing what I am asking for? Oh. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. People are still coming. Closing eyes is not sitting down. You are young. Why are you getting tired? From the time I stood up, I preached while you were seated. And I'm still standing, and I have not asked for a seat to sit. Why are you sitting? How many people you believe that there is power over every power? You have come, lift your hands and say this with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender to you now. I disconnect my life. I disconnect my life from every power of the enemy. I disconnect myself from every addiction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I disconnect myself from every satanic network. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Continue lifting those hands. Everybody stretch your hands here. Oh my God. Lord, I release the anointing of God that breaks every yoke. Right now upon these people. I arrest every spirit. 
I command every power of the enemy to go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break every satanic force. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be thou loosed. Rabagata. Kuramakalabashata. Kuramakarabakata. Manderia malabagazia. I destroy every satanic network. I destroy every satanic network. Every wicked power of the enemy. I break it. I break it and call. Loose. Loose. Come out. Come out. Come out. Loose. Fire. Fire. I destroy every satanic network. I destroy every satanic network. Every satanic network. Every occultic power. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Every power of Illuminati. Go. 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 Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Makalabakata. Roma mamaya ragata maya labaya. Kurama sata manda labaya. Kurie salamagalagaya. Go. 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 Back to hell. Back to hell. Back to hell. Ropa kasata magadagaya. Rapa bagalagalagadia la malalabaya. La mama mama ya la gazia. Every power of addiction. I break you. 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 I la 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 makasia. Every monitoring spirit. I arrest you. I arrest you. Hi 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 hi. La 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 ya na na magalagalagaya. La pa pa sa katamagada. Oh ya 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 la makasala magaya. Ramagata ya bida loose. Maya la kasata. Hey. Aya la makasala maya. Power. Power. Kura makaya la bagaya. La la ya na na maya la baya. Bida set free. Freedom. 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 Freedom in the name of Jesus. In an abacata, my alabaya, ayaramakaya, power, power, ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
Ayena na no na makala. No more, no more, no more. Out, out. You have no place to hide. You have no place to hide. In the name of Jesus. Malabakaya la baya. Jesus, 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 back to hell, back to hell, I destroy, I destroy your grip. Out. Out. I break your power. I break your authority. Back to hell. Back to hell. I disconnect you. I disconnect you. Freedom. Now. Kura masata mayala makaria. Lepe pere keta magadagaria. Lepe ria kataya. La zumba zumba. Kura makaria. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your expiring date is now. Your expiring date is now. Out, back to hell, back to hell, back to hell. You shall now come out. I set you free. I break every chain. I break every chain. I disconnect your life. And disconnect your body and disconnect your body from every satanic force. You're free in Anamakasa. Everybody lift your hands. Power is moving. Power is moving. Power is moving in this place. In this place. Yes. Yes. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Hey. Hey. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Yanagasata, receive your freedom. Yes, yes, Ramadala, Yala Mahaya, Kura Masata, Mandala Mos, Ayala Makura, Talabaya, receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom, 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 in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, yes, freedom, freedom, my God, my God, Kalamaya, la Banda, la Banda, la Banda, la Banda, Masata Makata in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Power, power. In the name of Jesus. Malakataya. I break every addiction. I break every addiction. I break every addiction. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare you delivered. I declare you delivered. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Everybody lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Freedom. Yes, freedom. 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 Yes, freedom. 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 The name of Jesus. Freedom. One minute, I'm closing. Join hands with your neighbor wherever you are. If you are seated down, don't go back. Just join hands wherever you are. Join hands and then you lift those hands up. Join hands. Then you lift them up. You lift them up. Join hands. There is power that is going to move right here in this place. If you are seated down, you cannot join hands while you are seated. You stand up and you lift hands with your neighbors. Oh my God. Close your eyes. Father, at a count of three, let every deposit in their lives from the kingdom of hell check out of their lives sign out of their lives and let them be total freedom total deliverance let the anointing to break every yoke begin to move now oh my god power has begun moving right now oh my god oh my god oh my god don't let the end of your neighbor go at a count of three father release the fire of the holy ghost release the fire of the holy ghost release the fire of the holy ghost let every satanic power lose the grip power is coming right now lift hands with your neighbor lift hands with your neighbor the anointing of god is moving right now right now at the middle at the left in the right Right now, right now, right now. One. Power, power, power. Number two. Total freedom, total freedom, total freedom, total freedom, total freedom. Number three. Receive, receive. Power, 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 power. Every demonic power. Out, go, 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 power, hey, 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 power, Rama Mama Gala 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 Gaya, Rapa Papaya Kusamba Gata, Rama Kariana Namalabaya. Don't let go the hand of your neighbor. Lift up, lift up, lift up in the name of Jesus. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. 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 Power. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Power. Power, hey, 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 Back to hell. Yes. Lift your hands and begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Come on, open your mouth and tell him thank you. Lift your own hands. Tell him thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, tell him thank you, Jesus. Tell him thank you, Jesus. Tell him thank you, Jesus. Tell him thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As you thank him, power, power, as you thank him. My God, my God, my God. Hey! 
to continue but now time cannot let us so we have to let you go but this needs to go on this needs to go on until it is complete but we have to let you go so it's unfortunate we have to let you go so we're going to say the words of grace and then you're going to go but before then we want to thank God so much we want to thank God completely cut it off we just want to thank God so much for the time that we have had with you in our compound may the Lord mightily bless you we are looking forward to doing this many more times as we have been doing in the past and we are giving a vote of thanks to all the schools that release students to come both high schools and colleges may the Lord God Almighty bless you mightily as you go back to your school carry this fire back to your school and ignite the other students. Let there be power and fire in your schools, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now to all the patrons, to all the patrons, while we were in our session over there, we have a school of ministry that goes on here in JCC that only happens during holidays for teachers. And it's only two weeks per holiday. You are well able to register yourselves if what you had over there inspired you and you think that you may need more. We want to encourage you to register with Mama Lucy, the same facilitator that we had over the other side. Please make a point. You can send us your name and your interest. You may not reach us. You may not reach her, but you may reach us. You know our numbers. Call us and tell us that you want to join and we will pass on the information to her to her office and you will be mightily blessed and now I'm not doing any more thing other than that may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen JCC festival 2019 is hereby declared closed and everybody can go back to school by the grace of God God bless you <laughs>